Gobble the game night, gobble the game night, gobble the game night, yay! Hey guys, Gobble Game here, and I am back playing some more Super Metroid Ding the Past, randomized for Zelda to the 5th anniversary on Zelda Month of Magnum Fantasy. And the 30th anniversary of A Link to the Past. Yes, and the 5th anniversary of Metroid in general. And the 27th anniversary of Super Metroid. It, yes. Not this month specifically, but this year. Hey, you know what we're doing over on Video C for Zelda Month? What? We're playing 35 different ROM hacks and fan games. Wow! Everyone watching this video should go check that out. After you're done with this video. Please, I need views as well. Yeah, I got a bunch of loot. Oh no, it's just pink, it's pink space pirates. Space pirates! Those are the strong ones. I got your hawk in here. Okay, now bring it back to Zelda. Ow, he shot me. I'm bringing it back to Zelda. Oh, that's Zelda right. on my mind. I forgot it's hard to get out of this room <laughs> without space up. <laughs> oh, there's awkward. You yeah, can no, do it! Oh! That was badass. I'm on a wall. Are you butter? No. Butter is good though. Mm, back in the day, you loved butter. Like, in theory. Not saying you didn't like to eat it, but you were like, you called yourself Butter Spyro. And... Yes. That's because I was a huge Sky Does Minecraft fan. He does not do that much Minecraft anymore. Actually, I don't know. I don't watch him anymore. Yeah, that. That name, Boss Bio, literally came from just. I liked Sky does Minecraft, and he always did like butter and stuff. And I liked Spyro from Sky. Uh, well, I thought he was from Skylanders. Uh, I learned there he was not from Skylanders. Skylanders, man. But Skylanders and Spyro's adventure is still a great game. I believe the only ones I haven't beaten are. Have we even. Wait, have we even beaten Fat Team? I haven't been a lot of them. I don't know if we've seen any of them except maybe the first couple. Well, no, we definitely haven't been Fat Team because that's the one that, uh, broke. Trap Team's the one that did, stopped working? Yeah. Swap Force we beat. Did we know? Yes. Uh, Racers we didn't beat because, uh, it was just kind of boring. I kind of want to play on to be honest with you. As an as we just haven't gotten around to it. That one's pretty fun, though. Yeah. I'm getting a little build one. I remember I used to have the app, and I'd just build my own Skylanders. And I was bored. Because that's a, that's a fun. I needed that one heart. Things are much better now. Now, you see, the name Gobba the Game Night came from Nights Are Cool, and my nickname is Gobba. Oh. Well, this was pointless. Oh, and also, games are cool. I did, actually didn't come from one of us singing Gobba the Game Night, Gobba the Game yes. Night, Gobba the Game Night, yay. <laughs> but also, Nights Are Cool. Dylan? Games Are Cool, I'm a name. Get the edit ready. Oh, that's right, the Mercedes has been supporting but... <laughs> <laughs> I where am I even going? What, what did I do last? I I've done all the dungeons here, right? Oh wait, have I done the um? I, no, I think I did do the caves where you used the mirror. Oh, do I? I have the book. Do I have the? I have the master sword. Have you done now. anything in Mizumaya? Uh huh. But I have the mask. Oh man, I didn't mean to go here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. 
Åh, oh, hur är det tänkt på dig? Bok, I only slightly regret my choice. Oh man, I, I could have done something up there though. Wait, where are you going? I'm gonna go to the thing. If you go to the master thing where you get the medallion, you need to be in the dark world. And then mirror into the light world. To get up on the cliff. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you just wanted to take a little sightseeing detour in the light world. Yeah, I just wanted to make editing more difficult. I still don't have the flippers, do I? I don't know. Nope. <laughs> you literally had to open your inventory already. You literally cause of luck. <laughs> My way was more fun. You know, I'd be much better if Link could have a gravity suit. Gravity. Could you imagine if they made an actual crossover game for, them, for like Nintendo things? Could you imagine like official? You mean like Super Smash Bros. But I mean like an official game that's like Legend of Zelda and Metroid. That'd be sick. Could you imagine Link getting like a power suit? Samus with the Master Beam. It'd be sick. Metroid doesn't really cross over with that many games. I mean, Samus appeared in Kirby once. <laughs> Gosh dang, what's it getting you a bunch of health? I mean, I'm not mad at it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's mad. Are you back on the man? Because I don't. I didn't do the one over by Tower of Hera yet. Ah. Oh. Because I didn't have the Master Sword. <coughs> Kiss me. Do, do, do. Fly, you fools. I'd also, it'd also be cool to have like a Breath of the Wild style Metroid game. Like an open world Metroid. What about a Breath of the Wild style Mario game? Yeah. I know you could argue Odyssey, but I'm thinking where you actually have swords and you like get weapons and switch them out and different armors and Mario the Sword. Mario the Sword. It's like it's like a good Mario RPG. <clears throat> even though Breath of the Wild is not technically an RPG. You know the best Mario RPGs, the Mario and Luigi series. They are yeah, and look, Mario RPG: Secret of the Seven Stars isn't bad. It's just not great. They learn magic in Mario and Luigi. Luigi gets thunder magic and Mario gets fire. And there's a bunch of like bro techniques. Like they can do tomato Whoa. stuff. Bro, remember our Super Meat Boy playthrough, bro? Yes. Bro. Super Meat Bro. Love Super Meat Bro. What a great game. Super Meat Bro. I have not played Super Meat Bro forever. Just yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a bottle. I can use the bottle. You're missing what? Two items? I'm not sure. The cane of blue stuff. Cane of burner. Hook shot. I definitely don't have my hook shot. Hook shot. And of course the flippers. Yeah. And of course two more swords. And <coughs> no, I have the best. No, is that the mirror shield or I have one more shield to go? One more shield. And I had the red tunics. So. But just the vines you need. There's only like two. And what, two more bottles? Yeah. Okay, the blue one is the cannon bottle. Wow, just like Maddie said. I got you some missiles. I got the flippers. 
Yay! So now you need the hook shot and you can beat the game. Unso of those. That's yeah. why important. That's very important. I can't beat the game without it. Wait, they're both called the cane or something? I thought one of the staff. Yeah, some people do say that, so I'm not sure. <clears throat> that's why I corrected myself. So maybe it's the cane of Samaria and the cane of Burna. Yeah, that's what Most the people say says. the staff of Samaria. Huh. Whether that's official or not is another okay. story. That's very, very interesting. Easy. I made it more difficult than it needed to be. I'm gonna go into the mire. Misery Mile with your bombos medallion. Might as well. It's right here. Yeah. This is one of my least favorite dungeons, but ah, same. Mm -hmm. I do. I have to be on the exact spot. I accidentally press down on the D-pad. This game has good music. All oh, Ninja no games have good music. Hmm. Star Fox? Yes. Really? <clears throat> I believe so. Yeah, this honestly. Nope. I need the hook <laughs> shot. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Imagine like a Skyrim style Metroid game. They have like side quests. Like bounties. Not necessarily Skyrim, just open world in general. I wasn't sighing at that, I was sighing. Well, I guess technically Breath of the Wild does have side quests as well. Yeah, Breath of the Wild is full of them. Yeah, I forgot about that. I thought you said a Metroid style game. Though. Yeah. So what's that? Well, yeah, I said a Breath of the Wild style Metroid game. So I guess I'm just being redundant. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I wanted to go in the forest. Speaking of open world, Kirby's next game looks pretty sick. Have you seen it at all? I saw the reveal trailer on the, on the direct. Yeah, it looks sick. Oh, I saw an advertise. Oh no, never mind. You already know about that. It's the first real 3D Kirby game. Kirby has been in 2D for so long. He's making the jump to 3D finally. Just, just a little later than everyone else. It looks freaking sick. That's a key. Ah, 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 ah. I'm pretty sure that chest is a key one pumps in the time. Well, I've played this dungeon horrible so far. Hold you. Still gotta get it. Yeah, they're after. Or what? If I mirror, I'll just mirror back into this room. Well, if you start at a different location. But I, I didn't. Know. I'm talking about me at this point. I just yeah. walked into the wall, Master. Yeah, you start here. Then. Yeah. <coughs> you you know, shouldn't be able to walk into his hand did once it's closed. Did you hear Binding of Isaac recently got its like big repentance update? No. Thought that already happened. Well, I got Repentance, but I didn't get the big update for Repentance. I got the map. Because when Repentance was released, like, half of the stuff that wasn't there. Like, there's an arm called Birthright. 
that adds a unique effect to every character. Half the characters didn't get effects. And some characters weren't fun. So they made the, some characters better. Honestly, I like this dungeon pretty well. It can be a little annoying the going in and out, but it's not bad. I always go to this dungeon fairly early on in Link Between Worlds because it has one of the master us. Link did not want to release that skull. Ah! Which master us? Master how you upgrade the master sword? There's four master us you need to collect. <coughs> There's one in this dungeon, one in Thieves Town, one in the Dark Palace, and. Damn it, it's just gonna take me right back to that mummy room. Oh no, okay, maybe through there. I believe the last one was actually like a secret chest in the sanctuary. They have to become a painting to get to. Or something like that. And then once you get off of those, you can get the golden master sword. And then the Ice Palace has half magic, or technically double stamina, is what it's called. Because all arms use like a stamina thing. There's a purple bar that refills over time. And that's also how you merge onto the wall. Then... Wait, wasn't there another key door somewhere? No. Oh. Then in the... Swamp Palace, I believe it's called. You get... The... Blue Tunic. In Total Walk, you get the Hylian Shield. And in the Desert Palace last Misery Maya. Wait, was that door locked originally? You get the Golden Glove. That might have been it. What was the Golden Glove called? The Titan's Man? Yeah, Titan's Man. Because in Link Dream World, they kind of... They kind of merged Mizumi in the Desert Palace. Mm -hmm. It's more just replaced Mizumi with the Desert this Palace. This is above the, uh, yeah, and I can't get the big chest yet. It's like you get to it from the Mizumi Swamp. But it's the whole dungeon is desert because instead the second pendant is in a Kylia. Where is the mission? Nothing. That door is useless. Water bombs, baby, don't blow me up. My statue got reset. Yes, it did. Wait, you have the red cane. You don't need the statue. I don't need it, baby. <coughs> thanks for reminding me. To be honest, as soon as I get the veil suit, and preferably the space jump, I'm pretty sure I'm just set. Uh, what happened to that style, folks, exactly? Yes. It looks like I shot a fire and it got sucked into me and died. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. It's a skull. Magic. Magic skull. What is magic? 
friendship is magic. We need the big key. Yes. Where is the big key? I think he might need to go out the left door in that other section that you're just in. <coughs> Do what now? I think in the part of the dog that you're just in, you may need to go out the door on the very left. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna go around the forest. Do you know I don't remember the lad? This dungeon, like, at all. I suppose this is way quicker. Well, guess it's a dead oh. end. I'm just gonna let out my frustrations by using my fire. What? How would you know to use the fire out there? I don't know. NPC. Boredom. Pyromania. <laughs> I'll burn everything to the ground. Man, good job on locking on um, unlocking that door while also wanting at seven miles per hour. Most people can't want and unlock the a door at the same time. Could you imagine if Breath of the Wild 2 was like actually an RPG? Could you imagine actually, if Breath of the Wild 2 was just a 3D remake of this game? <clears throat> That'd be hilarious. I'm a bunny. Now, it'll clearly be a remake of Zelda 2, just like how Breath of the Wild 1 is a remake of Zelda 1. That has to be kind of amazing. Oh. But people don't really like Zelda 2, so... Yeah. It's more believable that it'd be a remake of this. Zelda 2 is a pretty good game. It's a hard. Zelda 2 is not that hard, and it's a very good game. It is hard. Have you tried to fight Dark Link in that game? Other than the crouching, crouching in the corner? But you can just crouch in the corner, so... It's not like you have to do it some other way. And also, there's a whole dungeon for that and the, and the Thunderbird. Yeah, it's it's difficult, but it's not hard. It's challenging. Those How about that? So those are synonyms. It's challenging. How about that? Difficult and hard are synonyms. Yeah, but to me, when, when you say hard, it sort of implies like it's unfun and unfair. No, if it's unfair, I'd say it's unfair. Well, something could be unfair and still not be particularly hard. Unfairly difficult. Like, I won't be the guy. That's unfairly difficult. But intentionally so. No! That's the whole point of I won't be the guy, is that's unfairly difficult. Some games are just unfairly difficult, even though they're not meant to be. That's when it's not fun. I mean, I'm, I won't be the guy that's kind of fun. It's fun to watch. <laughs> I don't know if it's that fun to play. I don't know, I stopped at Dracula because I couldn't get past him. Same thing with like, what was it called, Trap Adventure 2 or something? I just burned the ball master as it was coming down. Alright, we're all good now? Okay. But Zelda 2 is just hard. Not necessarily unfairly so. The final stretch is a good bit hard. With the uh, whole... Huh. That was Lizarfos. an odd little event. With the whole section where Lizalfo still walks at you. And then, yeah, the dungeon. Oh, I can one-shot these guys with this sword. It is the Master Sword. Does double the damage of the Fighter Sword. Oh, I hit nobody with that. I should 
by Wind Waker someday. I know a lot of people like Wind Waker. Wind Waker looks really fun. Yeah, I have it for you. I've just never gotten around to actually playing it. You've, I thought you'd beaten it. No. And like the final fight of that looks really awesome. I definitely have not beaten it. I've played it a little bit, definitely have not beaten it. Time for the boss where if you want our magic, you're pretty much fucked. This is honestly like the worst boss in the game. It's like, do you see any strategy in here? You think this boss is worse than Moldorm? This boss is the second worst boss in the game. It's like Lily. I knew I, I knew I had two potions, so I could just go ham on him. Lily, you're on a fed mobile, Thank hard you. to hit with your sword. Pretty much only hit aboard the fire rod. There's spikes coming at you from every direction. You know, how come in some door. palaces, is it just in the light world where you need the big key to get through the boss doors? Or is that in some, some dark palaces, world? Okay. I believe. I have to go back in and get the big chest. How are we on time? Uh If you need, you can go back in and get the big chests. Okay. Well, I'm definitely gonna go back and get the big chests. I just want to know if I had time to do anything else. No. Fine. But then we're coming back for more Zelda. I. More Zelda more. I haven't gotten anything else for Metroid. Oh, I'm so sorry that I'm not doing enough work for you. I literally just need like one item for Metroid. I could wear some candy corn right now. Do you like candy corn? Yes, I like candy corn. Candy corn is freaking You know, awesome. I grew up with, well, at least a father who really liked candy corn. My great-grandmother always had it in her candy dish when we'd go over there. Mm -hmm. So I thought candy corn was like one of the best things ever. And then I grew up in front of their people who really don't like candy corn, and it's kind of like popular to hate on. Yeah, surprisingly, my people do not like candy corn. I think it's great. Candy corn is awesome. And so is chicken. I know everyone likes chicken. I did, uh, thought I'd mention that chicken. I don't think vegetarians care much for chicken. Or vegans. But the... Or pescatarians. I bet the veggie chicken. Wrap it up, Calvin. <laughs> Thanks for having this episode, Calvin. Yeah, like I always got good to have this and more money. Happy Zelda month. Good night. Gobble the game night. Gobble the game night. Gobble the game night. Yay. Come on and watch him play games every other day. If you subscribe now, you won't miss out on any of the action. So come on, click that subscribe button.